Thank you, Haley. So next, and welcome. Um, my name is Carlos Kramer, and my click, oh, it's working. And my disclosure, I work for FICARE, so I am the international clinical educator, so a wheelchair cushion manufacturer. Um, yeah, we go back in time. We go uh, uh, pre-COVID. So in 2019, we started focus groups uh, with wheelchair users from the Netherlands. And it was about wheelchair cushions and a little bit more uh, 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 wheelchair cushions and their medical equipment and devices they used. And the questions were, do you understand your medical equipment? And for some reason, there was a lot of lack of knowledge at, uh, with the wheelchair users. So we learned that there was a need for more education and especially a, a need for more resources where they can find out what do my medical equipment do for me. So we started a course, head, shoulder, wheel and frame, uh, to learn the uh, end users about what is a wheelchair about. Not only the cushion, but their whole setup. What is a wheelchair assessment about? What are the questions you can ask? And then there's a delay. COVID hit us. So uh, end of the course. And we were thinking, so what are we going to do now? So we started online with the same course. And actually, it was a very good thing because a lot of wheelchair users uh, don't like or it's hard to travel, especially at public transport and things like that. So it was a good thing, COVID for us, because we reached way more wheelchair users in the Netherlands than we had uh, expected. Next to that, we started an online video call helping uh, system. So they could ask for help and uh, we video call them. And in the Netherlands, that's WhatsApp video calling or FaceTime or whatever with their questions about not only questions, but their uh, whole device they use. And then we can help out who is the, the, where to go to your OT, your PT, your nurse, etc. So that's what we've done. And we get so much good responses and great feedback that we thought maybe we can extend it globally. So we thought, can we make a questionnaire? And then, of course, we, I work for a wheelchair cushion manufacturer, point, point of view from the end user, telling what is most important for you in a wheelchair cushion. So this is, we had uh, used our social media channels like Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and our new newsletter database. And we sent out, um, 1500 uh, um, addresses and we get a response of 10 percent. so there's 150 um, uh, people who responded i think that's quite good in the end and what you see you see 55 percent of the wheelchair users who responded um were fikar users and i say fikar maybe you understand fikar better but it's a dutch company so i pronounce it the dutch way so fikar users 25% uh, were uh, different brand uh, cushion users. And then it's always the clinicians, 20% clinicians, because it was a questionnaire for wheelchair users. But for some reason, clinicians will always give their point of view yeah, and give their opinion. So we changed and we adjust after the first responses, uh, our first question, that it was also clear for us, is it an end user, a wheelchair user, or is it a clinician? And the first question was a very open question. What are the three most important uh, properties of a wheelchair cushion you want, to, you want to have? Not that's giving it you already, but you like to have. And uh, I will discuss this later on when I show you the results, because there is a big difference between the point of view of a clinician and the end user. So, Uh, we had 12 statements after the first open question, and the statements could be uh, rated with the Likert scale, uh, seven point Likert scale, or not applicable. But in our introduction, we asked them, uh, the most important part for us is the explanation box. 
used it and uh, because we want to know for for example you will see uh, later on that we have i like that my wheelchair cushion can be washed in the washing machine if it's not applicable there was a lot of response that would be wonderful so we learned about the most of, of, of the, what they filled in in the explanation box what we did as well we validated uh, the questions in a, a new focus group of only five wheelchair users about do they understand the wording is it, uh, it do they understand where it's about and as you can see uh, i will show you every uh, statement we make there is always two statements and at the same topic so we also had um we, we could do they give the same answer at the the, the, the same statements in the same category this is the rest of the statements um i don't go through that because you i will put the handout later on in uh, in, in the application so now the fun part the results and this is the top 10 and the size of the squares you will see is how important it is for the end user the wheelchair user and you see only see seven so or i'm from the netherlands we can't count or there is something happening and this is because the first yeah, the first three topics we ask yeah, what is most important of you and what do you think what is the most important for an end user and that's a question do you have any idea the weight of the cushion it's in there but it's not the most important any other ideas yeah but the thing you are re referring to here but the top three is not in here because it's comfort yeah comfort and the second one comfort and the third one comfort or functionality related to functionality and why is that not in here because this questionnaire is done in um, high, com in high income countries with a good reimbursement system and for com we don't pay for comfort and there is the big difference between the end user and the clinicians because the, the top three of the clinicians is pressure management stable posture and price so that is because a clinician knows that comfort there is no reimbursement system for it so the, a big difference so maybe we can learn of this that we can say all those topics together will lead to more comfort so skin protection wasn't the most important and that's a good and a bad thing in my opinion good for us job guarantee we can teach and educate the clients but there is still a lack of knowledge uh, at the end, uh, end user um, everybody who suffered from skin breakdown though answered that skin protection is of great importance looking at uh, uh, below skin protection you see microclimate control so i had the idea they know something about skin protection but it has nothing to do with skin protection the answer was we look into the explanations if i'm gonna sit i'm gonna sweat if i'm gonna sweat there is a smell around me an odor hence easy to clean is so big yeah so important to understand that microclimate is again back to comfort because a lot of clients still there is an odor around me less confidence less uh, participation in daily life less quality of life um i don't go into detail why i think microclimate is also important to relate it to skin protection but uh, i think we all understand so ease of use that was uh, that's small but everybody answered uh, different topics so does my caregiver understand the product do i understand the product do i understand the the, the maintenance of the product um is it easy to transfer in and out of my chair uh, all things are related and we put that in ease of use 
then easy to clean uh, important because for us it's easy yeah we change our clothes we put it in the washing machine um, I am here at a uh, ISS well, I arrived yesterday evening and I leave Saturday afternoon three pairs of shoes with me because you don't want to sit next to me if I take off my shoes if I wear them for four days in the plane sorry Mark or oh, lucky I have four three pairs so so for us that's why isn't that for for the end user as well then safety safety means uh how what happens if there is a sudden failure and how likely is it that there is a sudden failure and how easy is it to fix the sudden failure or how easy is it to misuse the cushion so also we related to ease of use what happens if i misuse a cushion and i don't know about the us or north america but for for some reason in the Netherlands, I still find cushions upside down. I don't know why, because there is top and bottom and back and front. Um, so um, important for clients. Last but not least, postural support. And that's the biggest item. And why? Without stability, no functionality. So very related to functionality. And uh, for some reason, or for some reason, due to the questionnaire and all the introduction letters, and all, people get more knowledge, so they get more bias. So do the seating system, so chair and cushion, fit my needs? Or do I have to adjust myself as an end user to the, to the seating system? And that was a very big topic. Very lots of questions in those explanations, because that was also a fun thing. Not only they were giving us uh, information, they also were asking questions to us. So, um, uh, yeah, top 10. Questions about this. So that's, in my opinion, the only good thing happened during the COVID pandemic. No, no, we, we, we made a, not an FAQ, but a global email. So just in general, an email where we send out everybody who answered and, and uh, put in their email address with, oh, we have seen a lot of questions. We, we, we send them the results with a li little bit of information, of course. And uh, yeah, they were very happy very small questionnaire although with big 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 results for us as well as a wheelchair cushion manufacturer and um, I want to do it in this way and not show you all the graphs um, because uh, I think this is great and I hope you have learned uh, something and I will hand over the states to the last one thank you very much